here's exactly what you should do before you create your next Hyperland setup. Now, break out Google Sheets because we gotta track some data. Now, before I actually tell you what to track and what it is that you have to do, there's this quote that you should know about. It's called, what gets measured gets managed. Now, basically, this is the idea that you can't exactly change something or make it better until you know exactly what it is. So let's take health as a tangible example. Let's say you run a lot, you run like five kilometers every single week, but then you just never bother to track it. But then one fine day, you, just, you decide, hmm, I want to know just how much I'm running. And so you actually decide to track how much you're running. Let's say you do that either through like a watch or your app on a phone or something like that. And then you basically track how much you're running. So you see the progress that you've made. You see that you have been running for five kilometers for quite a while. And then you think, hmm, if I've been doing it for this long, then I can surely go further. And so you do. So that five kilometers every week becomes six and then seven and then eight. And you go on and on until you can run like 10Ks pretty easily, right? So that is one example in which what gets measured gets managed. The second thing is your sleep. So you can also take this quote and then apply it to your sleep where if you track your sleep data, so let's just say you remember mentally or you just write it down on paper how you feel after you got a night's sleep, uh, over a couple of days and weeks, you'd start to get an idea of how exactly your next day is affected by your previous night's sleep. And you would not have been able to change that if it weren't for your measuring it in the first place. So you get what I mean when I say what gets measured gets managed. So what we're looking to do here is basically measuring our stats before we create our next setup. So the most important things to measure are going to be your productivity, your satisfaction or your mood as you're using the setup itself and the theme that you use. So I have this sheet over here in which I have already added these three things. Now I'm using these three metrics as just an example. You can of course add in a bunch more metrics. You could probably add something like your waybar config too or whether or not you listen to music that day or you can just get really granular with it, right? But for now to just start out, I have these three metrics listed out over here. Okay, so let's say for example, in the date section, let's just add in today's date, which would probably be something like 12, 8, 25. And then we just use sheets auto feature in order to fill that in. Okay, now that's it for the date, right? And then for the theme. So let's say I have a bunch of different themes that I can switch between. So right here, I have rose pine. And then after that, of course, I have noir, might have seen it in one of my other videos. And then I have Night Fox. Basically, I have a lot of different themes that I can switch between. So I can just pick whichever theme that I want over here. And then of course, I can write the theme down. So let's say today, for most of the day, I ended up using Gravebox Dark as a theme. Oh, and by the way, if you want to know how to make a custom theme switcher like this, along with this Weber config, this lock screen, and a whole lot more, including completely unorthodox, never heard of tactics like metrics and other tactics that I'm pretty sure you've never heard before, go ahead and click the first link in the description. I show you exactly how to do this step by step so that you don't have to break your setup and deal with all the problems that come with it at all. So go ahead and click the first link in the description. Okay, now, yeah. So let's say we picked the theme to be Gravebox Dark. And at the end of our workday or our work session, we basically came into here and then in the productivity percent section, that's what this stands for. We just put in how productive we were for that day using this given theme. Okay, so let's say for the entire day, we had Gravebox Dark as our predominant theme. Okay, now productivity percentage, this would probably be something like, let's say 70%. Because as you can see here, Gravebox Dark is really minimal. It doesn't really get in the way, the default one. So if I open the terminal, I can open NeoVim and stuff. Let's just open Color Picker. As you can see, it looks pretty neat. There is no weird stuff going on over here. I can see the colors, everything extremely clearly. So let's say my productivity was actually even higher than that. Let's say it was 80%. Okay, and my satisfaction because I picked a really good Spaceman wallpaper. Shout out to this Spaceman guy. He looks really cool, right? Let's say my satisfaction when using a theme was also really high, something like 83%. Okay, then let's say tomorrow I end up using a different theme, something like Noir because let's say I needed to really eliminate all distractions and then not have any pretty stuff to look at so that I could just get some work done. As you can see over here, it's extremely minimal and there's not much to really look at. So let's say productivity with this theme, with my Noir theme, actually got much higher. It was something like 92%. 
And then satisfaction, you know, it is what it is. I mean, the theme looks pretty good along with the, all these pastel colors and whatnot, but satisfaction is not as nice because I'm not looking at this gorgeous spaceman as I was earlier. So let's say satisfaction went down to something like 78%. And then you just keep tracking this day by day by day until what happens is that you have a spreadsheet that is full of data like this. So let's say, again, we'll just put in another theme over here, something like Night Fox. Okay, productivity. This one looks pretty neat. Let's just show you what that looks like. Night Fox. And again, if you wanted to know how to make something like this, you can just go ahead, click the first link in the description. Okay, so this is what we have for Night Fox. Let me just show you niche looks pretty cool so let's say productivity was 91 percent because it looks nice satisfaction too was something like 83 percent because why not okay same thing you just fill out for the rest of the days and once you do that you can calculate an average so let's just extend this out to fill in the rest of the days of the month okay let's pull this back just get rid of this and now as you can see here we can just type in average and then get the average for this okay now if we try to use the average function over here for a bunch of text it's not going to work it's just going to freak out so you might just want to leave this blank or you can just look up how to get the average value of a bunch of text values you can also turn this into a bunch of drop downs something like data and then you have something over here you have an option in order to um, turn this into a drop down so if you do that maybe you could get the average but you know how to figure this out yourself right and for the productivity percentage this one's pretty easy because it's a number you can just calculate the average you get 88 percent and for the satisfaction too you can just get the average like so and at the end of, at the end of the month you have an average as to how you did for the month using a bunch of different themes of course if you were to add even more metrics over here to track not only would your spreadsheet be even more accurate showing just how effectively you worked for the month you'd also have a tool that tells you how effective your rices are at actually letting you do your job just letting you work right so that is another advantage of actually tra tracking your metrics and bothering to do this in the first place because the returns that you get from something like this is just surreal so you might as well just take 30 seconds and get it done another thing that you can do is basically take a look at the different themes that you have over here take a look at your productivity and your satisfaction percentages and then figure out which theme gives you the most bang for your buck so let's say i have a theme that i really don't like over here which would probably be something like cappuccino okay for whatever reason i personally don't like this color scheme too much but it still looks pretty nice, right? So let's say when I'm using Cappuccino, we'll just type that here. Okay, so when I'm using this theme, my productivity, it's, it's okay-ish. And then my satisfaction too is, is okay-ish. In such a case, you know what themes to avoid and what themes to go for. So out of these four themes over here, the one that technically gives the most bang for your buck would be Night Fox because you have a 91% productivity and an 83% satisfaction. So this is the kind of stuff that you can do when you have a lot of data to look at because to be honest most people they just go through their day without tracking anything like this and because of which they have no idea what's going on and they're practically blind now data gives you a torch so that you can actually see in the blind tunnel and you're not just walking along hoping to not get lost right so basically that is another reason why we should track your data you can also go really crazy with this so what you can do is you can create a dashboard of sorts so what you can do is just create a dashboard sheet and then in here you have the month okay and then you have the averages of each month put in over here so you have the month and then the theme and then the productivity percentage and the satisfaction percentage okay so let's say i started tracking this from august so i just put in august over here and then fill in the rest of the months like so we'll just make this bold okay now in august again you can figure out how to get the average of all this text over here but we can do this for productivity and satisfaction percentages right so what we can do is type in an equal sign over here click on this sheet get the value then put that over here of course we can rename the sheet to august okay 
this okay then do the same thing for the satisfaction percentage so as you can see what starts to happen is you get a yearly view of the theme that you used for each month the most and your productivity and satisfaction percentage for that month so as you can see over here it really starts to get useful so at the end of the year when you look back on the setup that you use the most and the one that got you the most productivity and the most satisfaction you can make a pretty educated guess on the setup that is probably not only your favorite but the one that's going to help you get stuff done the most right now we've only done this for august but we can repeat this for all the other months and as you just go along you just fill in the details over here let the averages calculate themselves out and then get filled in over here automatically and that's that just track your metrics and you will be glad that you did extremely glad in fact if you want to know how to make a blazing fast and beautiful hyperland setup like the one that i just showed you over here including the custom theme switcher and more unorthodox tactics and techniques like tracking your metrics and whatnot go ahead and click the first link in the description i show you exactly how to do this step by step i walk you through it so you don't have to waste time looking at 50 different youtube tutorials and scrolling through 20 different subreddits so go ahead click the first link in the description if you liked the video hit like if you loved it and want to see more like this in your feed hit subscribe and i will see you next time stay rising